World Tanks, it's me and welcome back to some more World Tanks console and today we're going to be looking at what I got up to in my comet the other night. So at the minute I don't have much time to play, I don't go on about it all the time but when I do I have to sit down and decide what I want to achieve for the channel with the time I've got. And I hadn't played the comet for a long time and I knew I was nearly at 100% so I had a quick look and I was at 99% I was like right sod it. Going to sit down, have a stab at it, see if I can get my first 100% MOE in a tank in this game. Well, I don't get to play very often at the minute. I'm a little out of practice. And this game, practice really does make perfect. And when you get a lot of repair wheel rage like that... What did I repair there? I repaired my optics instead of my tracks. Yep. So I've run out of AP rounds. On the APCR, I'm left 1 versus 12 after not even five minutes of the game gone and I was already questioning my choice of whether to do this today anyway so I hit the Tiger P I didn't realize I'd run out of AP so I switched to high explosive instead of what I thought was ah, more rage get rammed and I die yeah so this was the first game of the night and after seeing this result I was kind of tempted to not bother carrying on 2,900 damage, had three gun marks for a while, and there we go, 99.2% is that, or 99.3%? Yeah, so after that, uh, well that, I just didn't know if I could carry on. So, did I carry on? Well, yeah, of course I did. You guys know as much as I do, as much as we hate this game sometimes, we carry on playing it regardless. Yeah. So I had this game, kind of won the game from the start up the middle road, spotting everything, blatting everything I could, and then bumped into one of you guys. And it's at that point where um, I get cocky. There you are, 70 Karma, one of the beard guys, out in his T25. So uh, with his support, I felt I could be a little brave and go around that corner to the T28 concept that's there. But what I didn't think about was, in this game, top tier heavy tanks tend to sit at the spawn. Here I go, ask him to follow me, I'm going for arty, get rid of the arty first, I get hit, my ammo rack's gone, I repaired a broken fuel tank, and I get ammo racked by an artillery. So, uh, that could have been, you can see my results there, I've had a good game, that could have been a monster game, but I got too cocky and threw it away. Right into a full replay then, the game that gets me the last 0.1%, I was at 99.9% .9 and this game just tipped me over the edge enough, it's not a monster game, but uh, fairly, fairly interesting and um, does go to highlight some of the problems with this game at the minute as well, which we'll talk about in a minute. Oh, so I've never done Heil Heilbronn, Heilbronn um, defence before, and what a lot of people don't realise is when you're defending, a lot of the time, the best thing to do is not to sit by the flag, which most of my team are going to do. One of the big things I've had to learn lately with, because this happens so often, I'm having to teach myself to hold back and not play the game how I want to play the game, which is to go out and fight, which is what this game is about, isn't it? But because so many people are reluctant to go out and fight, even when they're in top tier heavy tanks and uh, things like that, I'm literally having to make myself play more campy because I tend to die because I've tried to play the game properly, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so I hung around for an extra shot on the T43, works out pretty well, get a nice fire on him, and I think he's gone down already. So that's a top tier medium out, and then I go back to my little position. See the view range on the Comet when you have a decent crew and tea and pudding. That's what you need in this tank. A lot of people, especially I've been joining some Facebook tank groups lately. So have a little look at the comments. Uh, comments. Comet is not very well liked by a lot of people. And that's normally because of when you go through it the first time, you tend to it tier 7, maybe have one skill. 
And if it's your first time through and you've picked the Comet as your first tier 7, your first skill may not be the one you actually need, which is you should train up camo probably and then swap it to six cents. But when you're a new player, do you really know to do that? I definitely didn't. And there's a lot of people running around thinking Mentor is the best skill to take first. Uh, commence the comment rage down below now. I definitely don't recommend Mentors to take as a first skill. And I might even do a video about it somewhere. Yeah, so uh, people are running around in comets with no crew skills. Wrong equipment probably as well. And they're just getting their asses handed to them. Whereas when you go back to it, when you've learned a little bit more. Correct crew skills. Correct equipment. Correct setup. You have the view range and the camo to play this tank how you need to. Use that DPM of the gun. Use the gun depression. And just be a pain in the backside that way. Anyway, so we've all been rambling on. You see not a lot has gone on. Most of my team is in the buildings. But the main thing that's wrong with this game now is that most of the enemy team are in their spawn. And they're attacking. And nearly four minutes has gone already. There's no way I should be able to push out to this position. As soon as they loaded in and started, they should have pushed out from their spawns. Take it, they could have taken three quarters of the map within the first minute. And left my team very, very little they could do about it. Anyway. Yep. Comet gun bounces off a tier 5 heavy. Lovely. Yeah, I didn't realise I was up against the edge of the map there. Right, so now I'm not doing what I said. Well, I suppose I'm supporting the ELC, but I am pushing a little bit too far now, overextending. I don't know where a lot of the tanks are, but I wanted to get some damage done. So get a nice hit on that guy, but there's an SU-100, 100M1 there. Very good little tank. He hit me for a fair amount there. He bounced a KV-1 in the turn, and I back off again. I realise I've overextended just a little bit. Yeah, no good shots on those guys. Getting a lot of crossfire as well, which is what you don't want. Yeah, so if I can't do any damage here, there's not really much point being here, being where most of my team are, which is in fairly useless positions in the buildings. A lot of the tanks down there are lightly armoured tanks and once the enemy tanks make it to the buildings um, they've given away all of their advantages. Anyway, so cruise across the map. Spot some tanks moving around at the back. I'll look for a better position. Right, so some of the enemy's heavies are actually making their way down that side. Right, so here we go. View range and a camo crew. Oh, I get spotted. Wow. Who's that then? Got to be that guy. Oh, that's close. Oh, there he is, SU-100M1. He's pushed up a little bit. Don't get the kill. It's a shame. Get some more spots, though. Whee! The hill. Well, I'm playing a dangerous game now. I'm in the middle, which means the enemies can hit me from all around, basically. So I need to be very, very careful. shot on that guy he's not going to back up anymore we're winning by quite a way now the team could quite happily push out and win this game now right so Mr. Small oh, bounce off the T-34-88 come on come on come on Boom, he's down. That's a very dangerous tank. Gone. 
And there we go. I hit, get hit from the side. KV2 at range. But this is why the comet's so good. The rate of fire is awesome. And KV2 down. Alright, so this is where um, I meet my downfall. C29 there. Snapshots. Hits me. Goes the rest of my health. So I back off. Need to get unspotted. But unfortunately, that KV3 sat at the back. Managed to pick me off. Right tankers, so I won't bore you with what happened in the last few minutes of this game. Basically, most of our tanks continued to sit in the buildings. Some of them pushed out on full health to run the clock out. And um, yeah, just sat here waiting for the results and to waiting to see if I got that magic 0.1%. So again, not a monster game, but 3.5k combined is good averages and that's what you need it's consistent damage rather than one big game three crap ones so let's have a look did i do it there there we go 100 percent comet driver so does that mean i am the top comet driver or is there more of you out there on 100 percent? that's what i want to know anyway guys hope you enjoyed this episode something a little bit different no monster games but if you guys are going for your moes maybe you can take something from this anyway cheers guys thanks for coming along and i'll catch you on the next one see you later